Yo, what is going on guys and girls? My name's Kyle. If you're new around here, welcome to Successful Archie Student. It's great to have you here. We're a community of architecture students all wanting the same thing of success in our education and profession. So today I'm gonna to show you how to animate any 3D model to have a section cut going through it. It's a very simple technique using SketchUp, but hopefully it opens your mind up to try some new dynamic and animated representations of your models. I'm a big believer that you should always try new things and stray away from what everyone else is doing. So hopefully this is something you can use to do that and also inspires you to create some new ideas and ways to represent your concepts. So this is the basic section cut animation. It's very simple, yet it allows you to have a dynamic aspect in your presentations. This is how I used it for my last assessment for a project I called the Earthbound Rocket Ship. Three. Two, one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Here we got a roll program. The Armstrong reporting their roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on proper heading. So this took under 30 minutes to do, and my second year lecturer mentioned it in our lecture saying how she showed it to the fifth year students as an example for their work, and they said, you think we have time to do this? So it's obviously a very unique and cool way to represent your work. So I'm going to show you how to actually do it now. It's incredibly simple, and you can actually do this using any 3D model. It doesn't have to be a SketchUp model. However, the way you do this is on SketchUp, so you have to import the model using um, file import, and you can import any kind of 3DS file, or there are some other files as well. Or if you've got the paid version, there'll be a lot more files you can import as well. But programs such as Revit and Rhino and 3ds Max allows you to export files into the 3ds file type, which you can then import into your SketchUp file. So to create this animation, there's only really two steps you need to take. The first one is to create section planes, so that one section plane starts at the side that you want to start the cut from, and the other one finishes on the other end. What you would then do is create a scene for both of those section planes, so that when you go to your view and go animation to play it, it goes from one scene to the next and it slices through your project. So if I wanted to do that for this model, I would first want to go into an isometric view, just so it's a little bit easier to see. Next I would add a section plane on the side I would want to start the section cut at. So using the left key I can lock to the green plane and start that section cut on this side. So what I would then do is create a scene for that because that's how I would want the animation to begin. So I can just go ahead and click scenes here. If you don't see the scenes panel on the side here you can go to windows default tray and you can just click the scenes panel here to tick it in and send it over to the side here. What I would do next is create another section plane ending on the far side here. And so to lock it onto that green plane so it's on the same side as that, I would press the left key again and just create a section on that furthest side. All you have to do then is create another scene with the plus key and you then have an animation because you've got two scenes now and if you click play, it will come back and you have a section cut through there. If you wanted to slow this down because it's looking really pretty fast, what you can do is stop the animation and then you can go to view, animation, settings, and you can change the transition time as well. So if I change this to five seconds, it would obviously be slower. And if I wanted to change the delay between the two transitions, you can also make that slower as well. So now if I hit play, animation play, it will now go a lot slower through the building with that section cut. There will also be a longer transition between the two cuts as well. So this is obviously a very simple and basic way to do this. As you can see, this probably took under 30 seconds to actually do but it really is quite an effective way that not many people use to represent your concept. The idea behind showing you this though is however to kind of open you up to try new things and be 
creative in the way you use animation and technology to represent your ideas. So this is another project I did this last semester, just playing around with the idea of animating to showcase things. And my teachers asked me to showcase where the entrance was, as I decided not to show any floor plans on my sheet. And this was my response to it. They loved it because it was different and unique and addressed the problems they previously brought up. So if you show a commitment to make changes to the things they say, it shows you listen and your teachers will appreciate that and commend you on it. Being a successful Archie student is no different from being a successful architect. It is all about being adaptive to the brief and addressing it as best as you can. So hopefully this inspired you to try something new. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and joining the community of Successful Archie Student. It is really a great place to be and you do learn a lot from being a part of the community. If you have any questions about this, do as well consider commenting or messaging me on Instagram at Successful Archie Student or send me an email at kyle at SuccessfulArchieStudent.com. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate your support. Until next time, enjoy your day.